may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength hey, for the next... Hey, that's good battle. enough for me. They're not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. I would be okay the if they would just pointless. take a break. If Here it could be halftime. Take your seat at the council table. Let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Okay, I think before I do that, let's see what items I have that'll improve my speech skill. I feel like I may have to do some persuading at some point. And if I could put on something that, like, makes my speech skill better, even if it makes me look weird, that would be really handy. Uh, the Mask of Clavicus Vile, that would be good. Pardon me. Okay, so let's stick that on. Guys, remind me that I need to put my, uh... I need to put my, uh, my... My other clothes on. My good clothes on, uh, later. Let's see. I wonder if the party... No, party clothes don't help. Radiant raiment fine clothes. Alright. Um... I don't think any of these are going to be helpful. Oh, the Shrouded Cowl would have been bows do 20% more damage. But the other one gives me both lockpicks and alchemy better also. So I, I think I'll stick with the Shrouded Cowl. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Robes. No. No, 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 no. Come on, there's got to be something else. No, maybe not. That might be it. Okay, do I have any potions maybe that would be good for that? I could go up and pop one of them and then I would be all silver-tongued. It does not look like it. Now let's go all the way to the top. I have a feeling those are ones that I usually do not pick up and keep. Those are ones I probably go, I will never have use for this, and not even pick them up. And that looks like that's probably the case. All right, here we go. Uh, how about a quick save? And uh, yeah, have no fear, Ar uh, Arn Gear. Um, so, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome. It's Delphine. I was Delphine. I totally heard her. I had my Loki mask on. Do not defy Loki. Are you guys going to sit down or what? Oh, it's Esbern and Delphine. You guys really have no place here at all, but, I mean, sure, why not? Why not come to this, like, you know, peace council thing? Are you guys going to sit down, or do I need to talk to someone first? Maybe I'll just, I'll just wait. I, I'm, I think I'm sitting, oh, here we go, okay. Nego <laughs> negotiate a truce. So That's, uh... Oh, okay. Well, let's see what happens. I we'll try. We have all come no. Here in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. It's oh, boy. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this. <laughs> Serana, this is maybe not your Please. place. Hey, there's your old Bogriff. Negotiate the terms of the negotiation. We will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Could I just Fusro Da all these guys into the wall? Beard. The nerve of those why don't you think that be I would quiet, sit down buddy. at the same table with that foul more bitch? Either she walks or I do. Oh, for heaven's sake. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I, I 
honestly don't think the Thalmor have any business here. But I I think that I'm going to say Tullius doesn't really want her here either. And just see how that goes. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Tullius needs to know I won't be pushed around. All right. Um... Okay. I don't know that Ulfric has the political sense to realize that by doing that, he does earn some political capital on this. I never thought I would be having this conversation in Skyrim. Uh, okay. Um, I do think she should go. I, I totally do. You're right. Well said. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your yeah. civil. Yeah. Hey, do you remember when I went to your party and ah, killed everyone Skyrim there? That was fun, wasn't it? Okay. Unlike your imperial friends here. You were going to sit down now. The Greybeard's council, Galmar. Gal Galmar really is kind of a tool. Here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Oh, no. <laughs> the only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. What is Galmar looking at? There's nothing Jerk. else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. How about just a and ceasefire? You wouldn't be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragon. Nothing more. There, yeah, a little ceasefire. That's perfect. Empire, a generous gesture. God, Ulfric is such a wanker. Oh, I gotta say, I really do like Tully. It's, I like what he said just then. Jarl Ulfric. General Tully, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. Darn right. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. All right, that was well said, Arn Kier. Nicely job. The negotiation. Nice, nice job. Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. Ugh. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Murkard at the negotiating. I I have to agree with Tullius there. That's council, crazy. You've been unable to take in battle. Oh snap! I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. <laughs> Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a I have to admit, to this is kind of fascinating. I really game. am enjoying this part. I, I mean, it's not a lot of action, but it is really... I mean, it is interesting. Here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Mark Arth is worth. Uh, well... Let's see. Winterhold seems like a fair trade. How about Riften? Yeah, take Riften. That's where the Thieves Guild is. Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threaten <clears throat> Excuse me. southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Tullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. What? I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. I, I suggested rift and you seemed hope. like you liked that. I can see now that this is oh. not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. 
But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your There, Esburn, thank you. You sit arguing about nothing while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say. All right, well, Delphine, I guess, is Don't picking up the ball the after I kind of Don't blew it. Do you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. <laughs> Saran is like... <laughs> she took his seat! <laughs> Sarana, that's not very nice. I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Yes, Remember that's that. true. That's true, now, Tullius. Now, the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Damn Imperial arrogance. Uh-oh. Shut up, Galmar. Let's hear it. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? I, what kind of compensation are we talking about? <laughs> Who's to say what happened there? Uh, let's see. Last time, I apparently favored Ulfric, so maybe I should give Tullius a break here. So, Ulfric should compensate you for Karth Wasten. Well said. For once, you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Black. Are you kidding? Maven is gonna love that! Tracy said that she did not think Mar Maven's going to be happy with that. I think she's gonna be thrilled. You both agreed I'm sort of curious about going to talk to her and see what she says. As long as the Imperial to theirs. What about you, Ellison? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. Oh, for heaven's sake. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your... Where's Jarl Ellison from? The Empire can live with these terms, yes. For a temporary truce, until the dragon menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Okay. A ceasefire is good enough. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. It totally was. Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Tully, why don't you shut up? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. Yeah, there you go, Esburn. Thank you. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy with the Library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names. 